power to the people, I'm back for a reason. If you clicked on this video, I meet you with greetings. You don't like what I'm kicking, like when I spin, just know when you tune to this, the cloth is different. Another episode of Part My Back Podcast is me, your host, Sebastian West. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West. Where you can check out some of my art and all of this splendor right here. Yeah, right here. Follow me on Instagram, man. Drop movie reviews, and I dabble in the field of art. Let's get right into this. Just got home from watching the film Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. And I'm going to have to clap it up. Clap it up. And, uh, it, it, was, it was what I... I think it exceeded my expectations. It really did. I don't know what direction Marvel's going in. But starting here... This is a good direction. This is a great direction. CG on point. Storyline on point. The choreography on point. Finally, these these movies need to pay attention regarding actors and actresses that really know how to throw a punch. You know, I'm sick of seeing films where you can tell it's some sort of a dance. And the punches are slow, have no pop to them, so this wasn't that. This was not that. It's one particular scene, this is a spoiler too, I don't really care. One particular scene where they were being pursued by the army outside of the club and they were falling through these like scapples, these pain scapples or something of that nature, and it was phenomenal, man. The cinematography was just A1 and... Sheesh. Oh, and you can't go wrong with Michelle Yeoh. Anytime I see Michelle Yeoh in a film, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I drew Michelle Yeoh from the film Crops and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I might put post that up so I can display my art because I did draw Michelle Yeoh. Yes, Legend of the Ten Rings. I appreciated that they actually was, majority of the film, they were speaking Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. Their native tongue, which I appreciated. Don't cater to the Americans. Speak your language. Put the subtitles there. Don't worry about us. I mean, do not worry about us. Don't cater to us. So, Legend of the Ten Rings. Dad, if you, you know, Dad has these ten rings. Had this sort of power from the ten rings. The son was bred to fight from yay high. His mom died. His dad was thought he was hearing voices to find his mom and she was well he thought he was hearing voices because his mom was being held captive in a cave in her her land where she was from it was just a voice of evil honestly that's what it was it was a voice of evil to release this beast that takes souls the dragon in this film was phenomenal look man it reminded me of what was that movie with Sebastian that was flying on the the White Dog, what is that movie? Land Before Time, no, what? Never in the story. It reminded me of Never in the Story when they were riding on the back of this dragon, you know, to save people and whatnot. This is what Shang-Chi reminded me of. Uh, Never in the Story, remind me of that. So yes, the cinematography on point, fighting scenes, the hand-in-hand -hand was nice. Ben Kingsley made a, an appearance, man. He brought the, the, the satire and the comedy relief in this film was great. It wasn't over the top was not over the top, which I appreciated. It didn't get cheesy, it didn't get corny. It was just enough. My only gripe with this film, I know it's a Marvel film, I know Disney, it had enough blood. Just just a smidgen of more, you know, smidgen of more blood. Just, just, a, just a more drop of blood. I mean, if you people have seen Winter Soldier, they know it has some blood in that film. Anywho, I have no complaints with Shane Cheap. And the Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh, if you guys... Uh, oh, Hulk's arm's still messed up. If you guys didn't know, and you saw the trailer, I don't know what's going on with that, but his arm's still messed up. So yes, Legend of the Ten Rings, go check it out. It's an awesome film. Marvel looks like they have DC. Pay attention to what Marvel's doing, I know. Pay attention. Marvel, you're doing a pretty good job with this. Nice. Looking forward to the Eternals. That's the next one. So yes... Legend of the Ten Rings, I Shang-Chi, we'll get a 
Hardy, pause. Hard 8 out of 10 with Sebastian's artwork. So yes, tune in for the next episode that I drop uh, upon my back podcast. And me, your host at Sebastian West on my Instagram. Now, always remember, a big shot. It's nothing but a little shot that kept shooting. If you don't like my reviews, cut me some slack. And if that ain't good enough, pawn my back. Pawn my back podcast. It's me. In the meantime, hold it down. Salute.